Are you posing? Hmm? You lucky pussy cat, aren't you? Lucky pussy cat. Monday morning, and as you can see, the workmen are queuing up to drive onto the driveway. We were up at, well, I was up at six. We set the alarm for quarter past seven. And we were both up and about by ten to eight. And as you can see, it's now ten to fucking ten. Not, not a work van in sight. The shutter people are supposed to be coming today, tomorrow and Wednesday. They've not turned up yet. They might be finishing another job. That's okay. Nothing from Christoph. Don't know what the fuck's going on indoors. Nothing from the electrician who said that he might be able to, he will be able to start this week. And that's okay. That's probably tomorrow. Um, I put the Debbie's and a deposit check in his post box yesterday. Um, so that's okay. But nothing. I need a fucking crystal ball. I need a crystal ball so that I can see what's going on. Um, because nobody's telling me what's going on. Nobody says, oh, this, we're coming, we'll do this, this is what's happening this week. It, it's just, I can't, I'm just driving us fucking crazy sitting waiting for things to happen your hopes are raised um i probably not mentioned it because i've been mentioning other stuff but jerome the electrician uh, sent me debbie's on saturday morning which was really good really really happy with the price because i don't know i had no idea how much it was going to cost um he has to um, he's gonna. I didn't realise that he would do that as well, but he's actually going to remove the bath in the bathroom and then plumb it all up for the washing machine and put plumbing in for future, a future proof it in case we want a shower in there. So he's, he's, he gave us a Debbie for that. He gave us a Debbie for the whole new... Um, I, can't, I'm not, I don't know. I, I can't remember what it is in French. The, um, the whole new tableau, tableau, du board or something like the whole, like the dashboard for the electricity and the disjuncteur differential, got a load of those to put in. And then he's got a load of renewing of wiring and switches and everything in the kitchen and um, in the, the salon. And he's going to put in... Um, he's going to run the wire and put a point in for the uh, for when we get the electric car later on in the year. And that point costs, that bit costs 500 euros. But I was really, you know, because of the amount of work he'd got to do, I was, I was dreading the Debbie. And actually the Debbie was really not bad at all. So, yeah, I signed them and we put a deposit check in and we took it out and put it in his post box on uh, yesterday morning. Um, so that's good. I am imagining he'll be here tomorrow. But I'm not imagining about the shutter people because they did say between the 3rd and the 6th. So I'm expecting them to arrive at some point today and, and begin um, begin their job. And um, as for Christoph, I haven't seen him for a week. Um, and what we discovered yesterday when we went up with Jerome's... Um, Debbie's, it was a little bit of Santa van that we uh, didn't know existed. It's really cute. And um, I'm just going to put that down a bit. Really cute. It's, um, it's called the Road of the Old Wall. And there is, you know, you go up and it's, there's a wall, an old wall. And um, it's a one way road. And there's this little commune, this little hamlet of some houses, some interesting looking houses. And there's sort of depots, um, which is where Christoph's depot is. Christoph and uh, and um, Jerome live, or their depots are next door to each other. So I now know where his depot is, I know whatever, but it was really interesting. So I imagine that Christoph and Jer Jerome, because they are so close together, are liaising with each other but not with us 
I just want to know. I want to know. Tell me what's happening. Tell me I don't need to get up in the morning. Although I do, I've got a rheumatology appointment, so I do need to get up in the morning. But oh my God. Oh my God. Um, what's going on out there? What's going on out there, as you saw, were no workmen. Um, it's grey and cold. I can't see I can't see the temperature thing. It's grey and cold. It's meant to be meant to be bright and sunny. They were gonna have a cold week. I'm worried that I know it's not really that important, but I'm worried to we're gonna lose the wisteria again, which is what happened last year when there was a bit of a freeze, although it's only gonna be I think a drop to minus one for a couple of days overnight so minus one might not be a problem i think last year it was a much deeper freeze that, that i think it was minus five just one day one morning of minus five and it just killed all the 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 flowers that were coming on the wisteria um so yeah it's gray out there i've um blocked the troll because i was just getting so it was like oh for fuck's sake talking bollocks and um, very, again, threatening, you know, my parents live in your hamlet and they're going to come down and see that you haven't got any Polish people living there. Um, and I'm thinking, there aren't any parents. Well, there are parents in the hamlet. There's a there's a one couple with a 15 month old child. Um, so they're not your parents. And um, I think some people are mistaking hamlet for village. I think that's probably what's going on but you know it's sort of threatening they'll come down and they'll look and they'll look every day and they'll see no polish family show us a photo of the polish family and their teenager and their baby outside your house and it's like what the fuck i don't want to involve them in any of what's going on and um, people doubting they're legit well i've spoken to them we've chatted we've chatted on facetime a couple of times one of them i'm friends with on Facebook and we I see what they're doing and she sees what I'm doing and um I have every every I'm a hundred percent sure they're legit and I don't know why people people are so fucking cynical I don't I really don't understand that sort of cynicism it's um it's sad isn't it to be so cynical about the world um so I am not cynical about that apart from workmen not cynical about the world um and uh yeah so i I've, I've blocked i can't remember his name i've blocked him he's gone so if there's some sort of straggly comments from other people it's going to look wrong but tompy that's it I've, I've sort of ranted have i ran yeah i have i i've finished ranting now i've had two coffees um so that's really my lot and um I'm going to sit and put my dressing gown back on my knees because it's this room is quite warm but because I'm sitting in the window which is really lovely um and it's not double glazed I'm getting quite cold around my knees so I'm an old lady with a blanket on my knees but it's a dressing gown and as you can see she didn't the cat didn't come in yesterday and um, she wasn't allowed up here yesterday I don't know why I just thought, no, you mustn't, you can't keep coming up here because it's not a thing that I normally allow. But today, because I thought that there would be workmen in, I thought I'd let her up. So she's up here out of the way and relaxed. But, well, that didn't happen, did it? But, um, yeah. Okay, so have a nice, what day is it? Oh, it's another Monday. Another Monday with fuck all happening here. Have a nice Monday. What time is it? 10 o'clock. And for those of you that when you get this and you're waking up down under, have a nice Tuesday.